So many great stories in the world of motorcycle drag racing. Sometimes even the truck and trailers have legendary stories. Check out this beautiful machine, which is owned by Greg Underdahl. Greg, we're sitting here telling stories. I said we got to do a video on this. You're telling me this awesome truck right here once belonged to the late, great Dave Schultz. That's correct. So how did you end up with this? Well, after Dave passed, um, Meredith was trying to sell the truck and trailer, and uh, I showed a little interest in it, and we struck a deal about seven, eight months after Dave passed. And you and Dave pretty close, right? We yes. were. So it's great his legacy lives on. And what I think is really cool is, are you guys ready for this? Here is the, the staggering figures. This truck had how many miles when you bought it off of Dave? About 230,000 miles. And how many miles are we at now? 728,000. 728,000 miles, guys. That is amazing. How much, how much maintenance over the years? I would say I've spent about 20 grand total on the truck since I've had it since 2001. That's just unspeakable. That's an incredible bargain. What do you, what do you attribute that to? It's just keeping it clean, keeping it inside, keeping, uh, keeping the oil changed. Uh, it's just had minor maintenance issues and nothing real major's ever happened with it other than tires. You know, tires don't, they're not cheap either. So it's, it's, it's been a good truck for me. Um, the trailer, obviously I don't pull anymore. We had to, Get a bigger trailer but the trailer is still in my shop at home and we're looking to sell that wow maybe even the uh the late great dave smiling down on you with some good karma from above loving that you're using this stuff that's very cool okay so then the trailer as mr mr gary stouffer told us moments ago this was the trailer that karen stouffer ran out of with the geico team right yeah there was, there was uh it belonged to doug and debbie johnson okay and when we bought the team from them all the equipment I didn't buy the truck and trailer so it was still at our shop sitting there and when we expanded the team we needed a bigger trailer so Greg purchased the truck and trailer and we sold the tractor and there's the trailer that's very cool and you guys said at one point Gino Scali even ran out of this and some other big names yeah back I think uh, that team was put together the end of 99 I believe and Gino raced uh, with them 2000 and half of 2001 and then Karen came on board the end of 2002. Wow, so you have done a great job keeping this thing on the road. And this is this is probably what it takes to keep those expenses down, right? Because it, it can you can really drive up costs driving around the country going to these NHRA races. So you have done an amazing job with that. And let me let me ask you this here finally. How in that you're telling me you only had to put one set of tires on this thing? How in the heck is that possible? You must be an excellent driver. <laughs> I don't know about that. But I definitely I got my foot in it. I, I, I've definitely got my foot in it when I drive. And only one set of tires? It's only had one set of tires changed since I got it. And how many miles a year, roughly? I would say about thirty to 35,000 miles a year. That is crazy, guys. It's one of the nicest looking rigs out here. So the last thing we'll leave with, if anybody has any tips in the comments, is one thing you can't figure out on this truck. As you told me, the caps stay on back there, but take a look right there, guys. You said it's, a, it's impossible to keep the caps on this truck, huh? Every time you put them on, you use a little silicone to put them on there. And the first time you have a guy polish your wheels, he pops them off. And when he puts them on, he forgets to tell us. And then we forget to put silicone back on them to keep them on there. So I would say twice a year, I'm putting new caps on. Oh, man. Well, if any of you truckers out there or racers have any ideas for us, feel free to comment because that's frustrating. But guys a truly awesome story here a wonderful truck and trailer once belonged to the late great dave schultz it is still on the road and you can see it at an nhra national near you thank you guys for sharing